Watch tonight. Getting a mammogram can be painful, but Mass General Hospital just became the first hospital in the country to use a new machine designed by a General Electric company that features a handheld remote that allows patients to control the amount of pressure they experience during the exam. It also has softer edges and more comfortable hand rests. Dr. Malika Marshall joins us now. Okay. This is all sounds great, but will that control or affect the quality of the image that you get? So they say no. It apparently doesn't well, affect the quality, goodness. which is a good thing, right? <laughs> and so Mass General will actually study this to see if it gives patients a better experience, and they will continue to offer their conventional mammography machines. Now, Marlboro-based Hologic also has developed a more comfortable mammogram machine. It's called Smart Curve, and it uses curved paddles instead of the flat paddles that are supposed to be better fitted to a woman's breasts. Um, it may be available here in the Boston area within a few weeks and sort of both of these machines are hoping to encourage women to come in and get their regular screenings because some women mm. after they've had one they don't come back for another because they can be really uncomfortable. Yes, so I think many women would be eager to try these out. For sure. Alright, so here's another interesting story. Does your mind tend to wander when you're supposed to be focused? Well, it may not be a bad thing. A new study out of Georgia Tech suggests that daydreaming may be a sign of intelligence. Researchers looked at more than 100 people and found that those who reported more frequent daydreaming scored higher on intellectual creativity tests and had more efficient brains in general. All right, well, let's hear it for daydreamers. <laughs> Yay! Then. So these efficient brains apparently have too much capacity to stop their minds from wandering. So think about it. If you're having a conversation with someone and you know that person, I'm not that person, but one of those people who can kind of zone out and then zone back into a conversation without skipping a beat, and my husband's like this and sort of knows what right, you said, when, when, even though he clearly wasn't listening, He went right? somewhere else, but then right. he came back. Or you think of the absent-minded professor who's super smart, but a little distractible and kind of all over the place. That's what we're sort of getting at. So if you're a daydreamer, it may not be a bad thing. You just may be super smart. Don't be hard on yourself. That's right. Excellent. Doctor, thank you. David, are you daydreaming over there? I would love to say that I've been daydreaming, <laughs> but I'm just not that bright. Sorry. No, Lisa no. and I will be back at 6 o'clock.